Today's video is brought to you by Smart Search for both the iOS and Android environment. Now, I know that many of us use lots of different apps and search engines to search the internet, but what about one app that searches them all, saving you both time and energy and phone storage all to boot? Smart Search, the one app that searches them all. Tech fans, what is going on? Now, if you guys have been following the channel, you guys know that lately I've been covering a lot of things that have to do with AMD. Because let's just face it, in the last few months, AMD has made a lot of strides into the gaming market. They've really punched a hole through stuff with their Ryzen CPUs, their new video cards, and with Vega right around the corner, you guys can see that AMD is seriously gunning for the top notch. In my other video, I told you guys that by 2018, AMD is probably going to completely rule the mainstream market. It. But what I really wasn't expecting was for AMD to all of a sudden come out with stuff to dominate the enterprise market and the server market because that's just an area where Intel for the last pretty much decades has dominated. There's been nothing that touches Intel on the server and cloud platform. But now AMD has released their brand new 7000 series CPUs called Epic and these things are just totally, totally crazy. Coming in the market about $3,400, you're going to have a lot of different choices, but these things are just made to totally process all of your information out in the cloud. And what's really cool about these processes is that they're made to actually work together. That's right. They contain four cords and they're connected via their infinity fabric and they're just incredibly crazy. Well, when we get to the specs part of this, you guys are going to drop your jaw and just go, holy crap. Because like, we've seen Threadripper, we've seen what the prize is and what's its competitiveness is going to be against Intel. But Intel right now, their highest end processor, which is like an E52699A, it's like $6,000. Very expensive CPU and pretty much the leader of what Intel has out there right now in the server market. But what we're seeing that's been announced is the Epic 7601 is actually totally kicking ass. I mean, really kicking ass on that CPU. And this may well be the start of the Achilles heel of Intel because if AMD can totally dominate in the mainstream and totally dominate in the server market at well, that means they have their bases covered through every market. And that's really gonna be putting the hurt on the people over at Intel because let's just face it, traditionally, like I said, they've dominated this entire market. And there's like just trillions and trillions of data information going through every day. So many bytes and bits of information that would blow your mind. And honestly, a lot of this stuff has been happening in just the last two years where there's just so much going on in the cloud. As cloud technology advances, you're going to need a faster and faster platform to totally make this information move. And that's where AMD's latest 7000 platform comes in. It's going to be very competitive in price. It's made to run cool so that it runs nice and steady. And let's just face it, folks, everybody out there is looking for latest, newest stuff and most people like the underdog to come and rule the world. So real quick though, before we check out the specs of this incredible 7601, let's check out a word from our sponsor, Smart Search. If you're like most people out there, you use a lot of different apps and a lot of different search engines to access all of your information on the internet. From Facebook to Google, there are lots of things to search through. But what about an app that can search through them all seamlessly and save you time and energy as well as space? After installing the Smart Search app, you'll see that it's very easy to use and with a single swipe, you'll have access to a lot of different things. No longer do you have to install different apps to actually access them. If you have the app installed on your phone, Smart Smart Search will take you directly to where you want to go. And if you don't have the app installed on your phone, it'll take you directly to the website so that you can make your moves from there. Some really cool things about Smart Search is that you have the ability to block those annoying ads. And it's also comfortable and really easy to use. Plus, you can download videos from YouTube on your Android device and watch them offline at any time. And if the text is too small on the screen, guess what? With Smart Search, you can increase the size of the text so you can see anything, anywhere. Searching within the app is very easy. A simple swipe left to right gets you on your way. All right, so Smart Search, it sounds pretty cool, right? One app to search through them all. Well, if you wanna check it out for yourself, we'll have a link down below. Now the AMD Epic 7601, this is the flagship CPU from these guys and it's made for speed. It has 32 cores, 64 threads, 128 PCI 3.0 lanes, 8 channel DDR4 memory, and up to 3.2 gigahertz of a precision boost. Now, one question you may be asking yourself is, Elric, why aren't there 256 PCI lanes? Well, the CPUs actually split them, so each CPU gives you 64 PCI lanes with a total of 128. Now, the specs of the 7601 just sound incredible, right? You're with me on this? 
But what about the actual performance scores? Because there's a few that have been leaked by AMD. Now, I don't know if these are actually totally, totally accurate. I mean, most things when it comes to the company you should take with a grain of salt. But if they pan out to be true, it's just incredible. And their performance is totally kicking ass on Intel's E5-2699, which is a $6,000 CPU. So let's check those out. In the 2P Integral Performance Benchmark, you guys can see the Epic 7601 getting a score of 1390, which is actually 47% higher performance than its Intel counterpart at 943. Now in floating port performance, using the 2P floating port performance benchmark, you can see the Epic 7601 getting 75% higher performance with a score of 1330 versus Intel's 760 score. And that's just amazing. Memory bandwidth is also something very important when you're talking about processing tons and tons of information. Now we can see in this Stream Triad benchmark that the Epic 7601 gets 2.4 times the performance of its counterpart in the Intel world. So that just means the memory bandwidth in this thing is incredibly fast and should process everything faster than ever seen before. Okay, so there you have it, folks. Pretty much the basics of what's going on with Epic. Now, most of the people out there that are watching this video today are gamers. Now, you might not see this performance directly, but when you're accessing your games out there on Steam and all these different platforms, as they envelop this platform from AMD into them, you should see better performance, faster access to your data, and everything should just be totally smoother. Because let's just face it, the Epic CPU is made for the server market. Now, there might be some people who have home servers, but for the most part, I think that my audience is a gamer gamer audience. But the big thing about this is, is that AMD has just taken leaps and bounds totally to take over different markets. You guys have seen, like I said in the very beginning of the video, that they are totally getting ready to dominate the entire mainstream market, which means that most people will be buying that for stuff that's budget and basic stuff. Now, the enthusiast market, we know that NVIDIA has not had an Achilles heel yet. They're still going strong. We don't know if they're going to like mess up or whatever. That future will have to be seen, but I don't really think they will. But for now, you guys can see that AMD is totally dominating markets from around the world. And if everything pans out to be true about Epic, Honestly, I mean, I can say it will be, honestly, epic. It's just incredible. The specs and everything, the pricing should be very well, very, I mean, very well set. They're going to be set for people to buy in. And like I said, the performance numbers they showed right now, I don't know if they're totally, utterly accurate. They're probably, I mean, I would use those and then people are going to be looking on the more positive side of their own product. But if they're even really close to that, it's going to be something that's going to seriously hurt Intel. In a market that they've ruled now for decades, if everything pans out to be true, they're going to have a totally, totally, totally competitor in the new Epic platform. The flagship 7601, which is a CPU that they've just announced, is really geared to dominate the server and enterprise market and I hope that AMD does this I wish them very much success it will be very very nice to see competition I know that Intel is probably going damn you why are you making all these videos saying this stuff but the bottom line is Intel sometimes all of us sit on our laurels and when people start to sit on their laurels they rush stuff mistakes are made we've seen it with the i9 and x299 now Intel is going to have to totally reinvent themselves again in the server platform market if everything turns out to be true so I'm Eric you guys have been watching Tech of Tomorrow Epic is around the corner. I know that most of us probably won't use it directly in our lives, but trust me, on the fringe of our lives, we'll definitely be seeing different things. Because like I said, if you can process all that information faster, everything's going faster, that means that you can access it faster on the web. No more sitting around waiting for things to load. When you get your information, it should be snappy, snappy, snappy. Like usual, if you guys want to find out more information about this, I'll have a link down below that like button. You guys know what to do. If you're not sub, hey, sub to the channel because we got great videos coming out. I'll Almost every day. See ya.